Hey, this is the Chapter 6 intro. We're going to talk about fractions, but the objective is really to, clearly, clearly to shake your booty. That's what I said. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. The objective here is to shake your booty. What am I talking about? I'm just kidding. I'm not talking about shaking your booty. That is not what this is all about. It's about something bigger than your booty. Um, we're going to talk about fraction stuff. And I have this little thing I like to do to talk about fraction stuff. It's the fun, flippin' fun, and booty method of doing fractions. Believe me, once you do it, you'll never go back to another way. What am I talking about? Well, it starts out, out with the following. You need to memorize this. This is important that you know this. If I ask you multiplication, you can tell me fun. If I say, hey, what's fun? You say multiplication. If I say division, you say flippin' fun. It's so fun, it's flippin' fun. It's more than fun, it's flippin' fun. If multiplication's fun, division's flippin' fun, man. Flippin' and fun. And then I say, what about adding and subtracting? You say booty. So here's a quiz. What's adding? Booty, good job. What's division? Flippin' fun, very nice. What's multiplication? Fun. Very nice. Now stop looking at the screen and just listen to my voice. See if you can say it in your head. Ready? What's division? Flipping fun. Very nice. Adding. Booty. Subtracting. A booty. What's division? Flipping fun. What's multiplication? Fun. Okay, now you have this memorized. What if I asked you what fun was? You'd say, I know what fun is. It's multiplication. What if I said flipping, man? What about flipping fun? You say division. What if I say, what's booty? Boo, 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 booty. You say, well, booty. Well, that must be adding and subtracting. Yes, see, we get real technical around here. That's how we do it. Yo, that's how we roll. All right, here we go. What am I talking about? Well, we call multiplication fun because it's the easiest one. Isn't that nice? It rhymes. We call multiplication fun because it's the easiest one. What do you mean by the easiest one? Well, it's the only operation where you do just what you think you should. You just go across the top and the bottom. That's it. It's the only one. You can't do that in, in subtraction or addition. Well, you could do it in division, but then you'd end up having with a quotient of fractions and it would get ugly, so you don't do it in division either. You only do it in multiplication. We'll talk about what you do for division. So it's the only time you actually go across. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 4 is 20. Way to go. You just multiplied fractions. It doesn't work for subtraction. 5 thirds minus 1 half does not equal 4 over 1. Doesn't equal. You can't subtract across. You can't add across. Okay? Only for multiplication. We call multiplication fun because it's the easiest one. It's the only time you do what you think you should do. So just do it, man. Just go across the top and the bottom. Here's some examples. Here's some multiplying. Watch how difficult this is. Ready? I'm going to multiply these fractions. 1 times 2. 3 times 5. 15. I did it. Let's see. 1 times 1. 1. 2 times 3, 6. I multiplied them. 3 times 2, 6. 5 times 5, 25. Look how fast I did it. I'm a multiplying fraction maniac. Look at me. This is me, multiplying fraction maniac. Okay, that was me, a maniac face, multiplying fractions. Well, I said earlier, if multiplication is so fun, then division is so fun that it's flipping fun, people. Yes, flipping fun. What do I mean by flipping fun? I mean flip then fun. That's what I'm talking about because first you flip and then you have fun. Yes, that's what I said. What do you mean? Well, you just flip the second one. What do I have here? A division problem. It asks, what's four thirds divided by one half? Well, man, when you're talking about flipping fun, you just flip it and change it to fun. And what's fun? Fun's multiplication. Uh, the great thing about fractions and division is you never have to divide, dude. You don't even have to divide. You just flip this guy and change it to a multiplication. So, four thirds times, flip it, two over one. What do I have? I'll use the dot. Four times two is eight. Three times one is three. I found the quotient, yes. So instead of dividing, you can just multiply by this guy. You flip it. It's the reflipperical. The reflipperical. Say it with me. One, two, three. Reflipperical. Very nice. So how do we do this? Watch. We're going to multiply by these reflippericals. Ready? Here we go. Two-thirds divided by one-fifth is the same thing as two-thirds times, flip it, what's the reflipperical, times five over one. What do I get? Ten-thirds. I'm done. Look at that. Next one. One-third divided by two-thirds. Well, I'm going to write it as one-third times the reflipperical of this guy. One-third times, flip it, man, three over two is three-sixths. What you know for reducing fractions, that's one-half. That's right, man. Now, what about this guy? Three-fifths divided by two-fifths. Well, I'm just going to flip and have some fun, man. Watch this. Three-fifths, I'm going to flip it, 
to five halves, watch how much fun. Now I'm going to have fun. Remember, multiplication is fun. You flip, and then you have fun. You multiply. Fifteen, five, ten. Fifteen over ten. Look at that. Weeby dooby dooby. So, we did multiplication and division. What's next? Adding and subtracting. What am I talking about adding and subtracting? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've been waiting for this all night. And now you're going to get it. It's time for you to shake that booty. Yeah. Well, I call adding and subtracting booty. Because, well, you can't add or subtract or compare fractions unless they have the same booty. And when I talk about the same booty, I mean the bottom. I mean the, the bottom down there. They need to have the same size booty. If one booty is bigger than the other, you just can't go up there and add them. Okay, this is also known as the down nominator, if that's what you like to call it, the down nominator. And there's a north -erator. Remember that? north -erator, down nominator. Um, well, these guys have the same booty. So what do I do? Well, this is the booty, and this is four. You just add the numerators and keep that booty. Add the numerators and keep that booty. So we're really concentrating on the booty here. we really got to focus on the fractions boot high. And so I look at this guy, two-thirds plus one-half. Different booty. What am I going to do? Well... You'll soon find out. Stay tuned. Before we do that, let's just quickly talk about how do we change the look of these fractions so they have new booties? Well, what you could do is if you want to change the way a fraction looks, you can, but you don't want to change its value, you can multiply by one. So we're really not changing them at all, actually. That's the trick. Because what's, what's four times one? You agree that's four, don't you? What's four-fifths times one? Well, it's just one of them, right? It's four-fifths. And you already know that anything times one is itself. And look at this number here, three over three. Isn't that also one? <gasps> yes, it is. So if I take this four-fifths and multiply it by this one, I'm still going to get four-fifths. Because I just, we just did over here, four-fifths times one is four-fifths. So let's do it. Four-fifths times one is four-fifths. But if I follow the rules of fun, we multiply the north -erator. Get 12, 5 times 3 is 15. If 4 fifths times 1 is 4 fifths, then 4 fifths times this 1 is still 4 fifths. This has to still be 4 fifths. And here I'm going to multiply 4 fifths times 5 fifths. I'm going to get 20 over 25. This is 1. Here's another different looking 1. But if I multiply 4 fifths times 1, I still have 4 fifths. So these are called equivalent fractions. They look different. Right? But they have the same value. If I can multiply this times 1 to get this, logically it must be equal to the same thing because anything times 1 is equal to itself. Hmm. So let's do this. Ready? Here we go. So I guess now we can go back with the different booties. We have our weapon. Our weapon is the number 1. I'm going to multiply both of these fractions by 1 to change the booty. Here I go. I'm going to multiply this guy by 1 and this guy by 1. And I say, wait a minute! Which one? Well, Count by the big guy till you find one the little guy goes into. Does two go into three? No, count by three. Is three, six. Does two go into six? Yes! So I want six to be my new booty. Okay? I need a new booty. So I say, okay, yo, how do I change this booty to six? Well, if I multiply three times two, I get six. But I can't just go and multiply the bottom by two. I've got to multiply this fraction by one. So I'm going to multiply it by this. Isn't that one? Isn't two divided by two one? Two halves, isn't that one? Yes, this number is one. Anything times one is equal to itself when I follow the rules of fun. Three times two is six. Two times two, four. Now I go over here. Two times what? I need a three. Three over three. There's my one. That's the number one. Anything times one is equal to itself. Multiply across the top and the bottom. Fun. Have a fun time. Three, two times three is six. Notice, two-thirds times one is still two-thirds. One-half times one is still one-half. So now I'm adding two-thirds plus one-half. What do I get? Seven over six. Looks kind of crazy. Crazy. So let's do one more kind of craziness. All right. Remember how we found the booty. I look at this guy. Count by this guy till I find one that this guy goes into. Nine, nine, eighteen. Ooh, look at that. And I got my eighteen. All right. So I say... I need to multiply this guy by 1 and this guy by 1. 6 times 3 gets that, so here's my 1, 3 over 3. 9 times 2, so I do 2 over 2. This number is 1, this number is 1. This times 1 is this. This times 1 is this. We agree, this times 1 is still 7 ninths. 5, 6 times 1 is still 5, 6. So what I end up with, 15 and 14 is 29 over 18. Isn't that wonderful? And I have 30 more sec seconds. So here we go. Here's my end, 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 end. Ready? Remember, multiplication fun, division, flipping fun, adding and subtracting is booty. Don't forget that. That's going to save you forever. That is going to be the best thing ever, anything you ever see. Do, 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 do. Remember, the trick of adding and subtracting is finding that one. You're looking for a one. Once you find the one, you'll be number one.